So it is a little bit difficult to determine exactly where my eating disorder started because I feel like from a really young age from, I mean, even as low as seven or eight that I wasn't happy with my body and I had a lot of shame about it. But I think where my eating disorder and the behaviors really started was I was 12 years old and I was removed from my mom and her then husband's care by Child Protective Services because of sexual abuse and physical and emotional neglect. Um, I was placed in a group home temporarily and I stopped eating because I was really upset and I didn't really know what I was doing, but um, people noticed. Somebody, somebody noticed and pointed it out to me that I wasn't eating and I liked that somebody noticed and I liked that I felt better. So that, I think that's where it started. So I was about 12 and I'm 25 now. Um, I think I had also a lot of low points. It could have been the time I was 16 years old and overdosed on pills and was not expected to make it. And my family said goodbye to me in the ICU. It could have been when I was 15 at my first hospital admission. It could have been any of the 20 plus hospital admissions that I had, but um, yeah, it's, it's really hard to, hard to decide on a low point. But before I came to Rosewood was, really low. I don't know if it was my lowest, but I was really sick um, and wasn't really expected to live through it. And I did. So I had actually looked at Rosewood before and decided not to come because I didn't like the idea of a 12-step program. For some reason, I was really against that. And I have been to many different treatment centers and hospitals throughout the country. And how I ended up coming to Rosewood was I was really sick. I wasn't eating. Um, so I really was struggling with anorexia and I passed out in a grocery store, was brought to the emergency room and my blood sugar was less than 40 and they told me that I would have to stay in the hospital and I wouldn't get to leave unless I went to treatment. And I think we picked Rosewood just because the social worker at the hospital recommended it and my insurance only covered part of it. There was a deductible I had to meet and it was thousands and thousands of dollars and was really blessed in that my church actually helped pay for that because I couldn't pay for it. I was 21 years old and in college at the time and so I'm really, really grateful for even just the opportunity to come and once I got here I was not so against the 12 steps as I originally thought. I found that there are principles that I could apply to any, any area or struggle in life and it turned out to be the time that I really, I really took advantage of treatment and I was just really sick and tired of being sick and tired. Initially I came just to get people off my back, but after being here for a while, I decided that I didn't want to be sick and tired anymore and it wasn't working for me. I think what really solidified my treatment was going to intensive outpatient. My treatment started at Capri, which was the partial hospital program, but it really felt more like residential because you lived there and there was programming all day and people there throughout the night and stuff. And um, so I started there for a few months and then I went to the intensive outpatient program in Tempe and I feel like that's what really solidified my recovery. Like by the time I got there, I was at a healthy weight again and I was thinking more clearly and I was really working on a lot of the underlying issues. And so the intensive outpatient was very well structured and there was a lot of the groups that I benefited from like the DBT which is dialectical behavioral therapy and um, some of the nutrition groups and working on mindfulness and trauma issues and it was just very well structured and I'm really really glad I did it I'm really glad that I did it I am over four years um, out of Rosewood I think September 9th of this year was my four years since I left I'm 25 years old, since leaving Rosewood, I, had, I completed a degree in psychology, a master's degree in social work, and now I'm a therapist for families involved in the child protective system. And to be able to give back to, to a system that I benefited from, it was really traumatic. And I also had the best possible experience that you can have with CPS and criminal um, investigations and a trial and hearings and everything about all of my childhood sexual abuse experiences and um, to be able to have worked through those issues and to be able to give back to that same system is a really big blessing that I never thought I would be able to do. I just feel like I've been given so much, like it, it's overwhelming and impossible.
impossible not to not to give back. Um, today I'm also like I'm really happy with my life. I tell people I'm in love with my life. I I love my job. I'm really happy with the education that I got. I have meaningful friendships with my family. Um, I got my family back from the entire experience that I had when I was little, and so just to be able to be be present and be a part of relationships with people of all different sorts is is really exciting to me. I didn't I didn't have that when I was sick because it's impossible to be in an eating disorder and have meaningful and satisfying relationships and I think that's what I'm most happy with today. I think to take the advice of the advice they're being given from from a treatment team um, whether that's at Rosewood or it's at somewhere else but these are people that have educations and, and training in in treatment and and they know what's best like as people who struggle with eating disorders we don't know what's best for us and to really be able just to give somebody your entire your entire trust is extremely important and that's scary that's scary for a lot of people and especially for those of us that have experienced pretty significant trauma um, it was really hard for me to trust a treatment team but i think that recovery comes out of trust and I had one moment where I wrote down the word trust on a piece of paper and gave it to the member of the treatment team to symbolize that, that you guys know what's best for me. And I just hope that people can take advantage of and utilize the, the resources that they have, whether that's treatment focused people or doctors or Rosewood or whoever's in charge of your care and just take that risk to trust people.